Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Of the many profound ways that the Jesus of the New Testament revealed the good news of the kingdom of heaven, it is the most important way that is so often overlooked. Whilst Jesus frequently taught in parables, in the well-known discourses like the Sermon on the Mount, in signs and wonders like the miracles, by quoting scripture, and even by argument and confrontation, what seems so often overlooked in the four Gospels is that, to bring us into the kingdom of heaven, Jesus also gave us direct commands. These are the commands that the living Jesus gave, as recorded in the four Gospels and the Book of Acts, presented here simply in canonical order, starting with the Book of Matthew. The Commands of Jesus, as recorded in the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Amend your lives, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Follow me. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. If you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First, go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. But I say to you, do not swear an oath at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, 
turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which hurt you and persecute you that ye may be the children of your Father that is in heaven. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others, to be seen by them. When you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honoured by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. When you pray, go into your room and close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. When you pray, use no vain repetitions as the heathen, for they think to be heard for their much babbling. Do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. God commands all men and all women everywhere to repent and that includes students as well because he has appointed a day in which he will judge the whole world in righteousness this saint peter saint peter catholic high school that is in front of me is not right with god and he does not reside in it but satan does you people 
who are working in there and that with the help of his demons are influencing others who are obedience to God's words to believe from his lies. And if he is successful, you will be responsible for helping Satan doing his dirty works. What a shame for what you have become. You have become satanic teachers. You are not doing what you are supposed to do as a Catholic. All of you are being deceived just like the ones you are deceiving. Well, your destiny is hell, my friend, and you are bringing stu students with you at the same time. This school is cursed. It is under the wrath of God, where severe punishment will come upon you if you do not repent and stop this nonsense. What you are teaching in this school is sinful in God's eyes. In here, you call yourselves Catholics, where the inspired Word of God in the Bible teaches the opposite from what you are teaching. You are teaching a different gospel, my friend. Let me tell you this. You are not good Catholics or even a Christian, but a child of the devil. He who sins is of the devil, the Bible says. Look it up. Galatians 1, 6 to 9. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who call you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we are, are an angel from heaven preaching any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be a curse. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be a curse. That is why I'm here to rebuke you all to who are in this school, in this administration, which are the principal, the teachers, the chaplains, office workers, or whoever teaches religion. For what you all doing, you are on your way to hell for supporting and promoting the sinful lifestyle that being homosexual is okay. Where God says it is not. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 10. You do not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, my friends, students, and don't laugh about it. It's very serious. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Romans 1, 18 to 32, for the right of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because what may be known of God is manifested in them. For God has so shown to them the sense of the creation of the world, it is invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood with the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead 
hid so that they are without excuses. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile under the God, under the full art of darkness. Professing to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of, of the corruptible God into his image in Lake Guy, corruptible man, and birds and four foot animals and creepy things. Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness and the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies from among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lies and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason God gave them up to vile passion for even their woman exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the man, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in the lust for one another, man with man, committing what is shameful in receiving themselves the penalty of their error, which is due. And even as they did not like to retain God, retain God, in their, his knowledge, God gave them up over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness. They are worshippers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boastful, inventors of evil things, disobedience to parents, undiscerning, trustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same of all, but also approve of those who practice this. Have you not heard the good expression, when you put a rod and apple in a basket, the rest will become rotten? Have you not learned something about it? As this not sick in your mind, there are students who come in this school with the knowledge of the truth and are believers in all God's words where they expect some good teaching and to learn how to face the future. But thanks to you who come out as like the rest of the sinners and become non-believers of God's, of God's words anymore. Understand in believers in Satan's lies which will lead them to damnation. Why are those students who have become homosexual not have their own school to belong to with other homosexual students? Why do they think they have to be in the same school with those who are against it, and eventually to, who become corrupted by their belief. Can you not see it is the work of Satan? And you are helping them. He is after those who is a threat to him, and not after those who are already in his crap. How can a Catholic not see that? You are so blind to the truth. It is not funny. You're like zombie, like zombie walking toward the cliff of death. You might as well not call your school St. Peter of that school anymore. If he knew what you are doing to his name, he will be very angry and recommend 
I recommend that you take his name off your school. It is an insult to associate him with the evil one. Maybe change the name of this school and call it Lucifer High School, since he is in it. Or call it Interrupter, Ruler of Demons, Belzebub, the evil one, the enemy, the murderer, the ruler of this world, the liar, the adversary, the angel of the abyss, Apollyon and Abaddon, dragon, the old serpent, the deceiver of the whole world, the accuser of God's people. Many names you can pick up out of that. Why don't you pick one that will describe you what you are what don't you not think that this is more appropriate to call it that way since what you are teaching in there it is so sad to see how time has changed for the worse from the day of my youth where people in those days believed what was right was wrong what was wrong was wrong and what was right was right but now it is the opposite. They say what was good in the past, it is wrong today. What was wrong in the past, it is right today. Isaiah 5.20 Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Heed to this warning message, your soul is on the line. Woe to you who teach for teaching them how to make it to hell and not showing them the way of life, which is the kingdom of God. You have blood on your hands for teaching them wrong. You do not love those students. In fact, you hate them for not telling them the truth. And here you will tell me I am I'm the hateful one what hypocrisy don't expect anyone in there that says I'm a Christian think about going to church every Sunday and receive the Eucharist that it will save you and help you to make it to heaven you will not make it my friend and that is a promise even going to a confession to a priest will not help you to receive forgiveness if you do not denounce what you are do, doing in preaching and stop it. You have to repent and forsake your sins and be born again. If you're not born again, you will not inherit or see the kingdom of God. John 3.3 3. Jesus answered and said to him, most assuredly i say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god john 3 5 to 8 jesus answered most assuredly i say to you unless one is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of god that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say this to you. You must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. I know all of you who profess to be a Christian are sure looking forward to inherit the kingdom of God someday and some think some think they are certain they will make it how come you do not want those students to make it also what make you think that God will let you in if you don't tell others the truth about how to get there what you are is a bunch of lazy and selfish hypocrites, teachers, who do not care if those students don't make it. 
Boy, are you in for a rude awakening of your day in judgment, standing in front of Jesus Christ, sitting on his white throne judgment seat, and you naked and nowhere to hide. Hebrews 4.13 And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. This world has done 180 degrees of society moral decay, so low that there is no way to come out of the pit. Hope my message will influence some of you to change and speak against it. And if they do not want to listen to you, or want to change no matter how much you try to convince them. Otherwise, then get out of it before you will find yourself going to hell with them. Find yourself another job. Stay in there and there is the same as supporting them and promoting it. Rise up and speak up. Do not be a coward. Defend and protect the ones who live righteously before they live unrighteously. Remember, the cowardly will not inherit the, inherit the kingdom of God, the Bible says. I have done my duty as a Bible believer, Bible obeying, born again Christians, where I prepare the soil and plant the soil and plant the seed and water the ground. And now it is in God's hand. Now I have no blood on my hand. Mark 8, 36 and 38. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what will a man gain in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me in my word and this adulterous and sinful generation of him, the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father and the holy angels. Do not be partakers with the sinners. Withdraw yourselves from them before you become corrupt like them. First Corinthians 5 11 but now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone name a brother who is sexually immoral or a covetous or an idolater or a reviler or a drunkard or an extortioner not even do eat with such, this, such a person. First Timothy 6, 3 to 5. If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which accords with godliness, he is proud knowing that nothing but is obsessed with this dispute and arguments over words from which come envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions, useless wranglings of man, of corrupt mind, and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such withdraw yourself. Second Corinthians 6, 14 to 18. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belial? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God 
and thou shalt be my people. Therefore, come out among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Ephesians 5.11 And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Jeremiah 6, 5 For thus says the Lord, Do not enter the house of Noah, not go to lament or bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from these people, says the Lord, loving kindness and mercies, revelation hating for. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out! from her my people lest you share in your sins and lest you receive of a plague imagine teaching the true words of god and at the same time teaching the uh, lies of satan's word as being the same you cannot be more contradicting yourself than that i can't figure this out how you think this is a proper way of teaching? Are you not educated enough to know the difference? Both teaching that is different cannot be both right. One is telling the truth and the other one is telling a lie. And we know who is telling the lie. Well, at least I do. It is... <coughs> It is you who do not know who tells the, a lie or telling a lie. I don't, wouldn't want, want you to be my teacher or let alone teaching me anything. You could not teach me anything about the Bible. That is for sure. But if you did, you will twist the scripture like you are doing it right now to the students. You are lying to them and the Bible says all liars will have their parts in the lake of fire and brimstone which is the second death it only takes one life to end up in hell my friend revelation 21 8 but the cowardly the unbelieving the abominable murderers sexually immoral sorcerers idolaters and all liars shall have their part and the lake of fright which burns in lake and fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The spiritual death, my friend, that's what it means. I'm here to show love and I do care about your souls and the students' souls. And if I do not, I will not be here, but I'm here to warn you of, of all of you. If you continue teaching this fall, gospel for, the, for these students you will have to give an account on your day of judgment for your words deeds and thoughts you have done in your body whether good or evil and if you have not repent of it that day will be a terrible and horrible one for you no mercy on that day mercy is offered here while you are still alive not after you die no second chance heaven or hell my friend repent or you likewise will perish repent guys you have cards, you have cards this year you want some cards of course. all right are you guys christians yep well what that's good halal? big friend what if you're halal you're like arabic yeah what's that what if you're arabic no, I'm not Arabic, I'm a Canadian. No, what happens if you are, though? What would happen? It's the same with God. Would he also get a card? Have a card, a card? Sure, I'll he, give a card to no, anybody. He praises a lot. Big card? He praises a lot. Thank there you. you go, it's about Christmas. Trivia okay. question about Christmas. Since Christmas is coming along, I think it was the property to give you a gospel track about Christmas. Yeah, but he praises a okay. lot. So, Who? can my friend still get a card? Who? Sure, you want a card for your friend? Uh, yeah, I'll give you sure. a card. 
I don't want it. I got lots of it. So will this change him from Allah to God? Well, aren't you guys in the Catholic school yeah. that teach you the God? No, so you have a you have some kind of a foundation. Oh, this is a Catholic. This is a wow. yeah, yeah. It's a Catholic school. That's why I'm here. Oh, really? To teach about the, the Catholic to, to the Catholics, to the Protestant. I teach to anybody that I meet on the street. That's that's what I do. I we go don't out eat and pork preach. In there. Big pardon? We don't eat pork in there. Though. Like we're not allowed to. That's no. what they say. They well, say no I don't think there's anything wrong to eat pork. Because it's only on, on the it was uh, not allowed by the Jews on the old old covenant of, of the Mosaic law. You were not allowed to eat yeah, pork. But, but now you can't. My my friends. Well, yeah, I know. Pork he too. if he's a Muslim. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I could understand that. His yeah, religion tells him not to. Well, like if they praise a lot, uh, is that or, uh, is that still allowed? To praise what? God? Yeah, you, you could preach God. Sure, you it depends on which one. God you're preaching to. You could do two at one. There's only one God. You can't do the two. Oh wait. Oh, There's wait. only one God. That is true, sir. Only one God in three person. My my friend thinks that there's like four. They accept four. They accept four. I think. Yeah, is that Mary? Him. No. Who is it? Who's um, the fourth one? The Trinity. Hmm? Oh, he's not a god. Buddha is a different uh, religion. There's only one God. It's Jesus Christ. He's the one who died on the cross, shed his blood for you to save you from your sin. And uh, I think yeah, Ronald right. McDonald or something, my friend Ethan, to get at. He prays that. Oh, he prays it. Well, he must love M McDonald food. That's why. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. He, pra he prays it like uh, he. He's also not allowed to eat pork. Yeah, I eat pork. I like chicken. I like pork. I, I eat bacon. I eat ham. Yeah, I, I need all kinds of food. Some of my friends that are a little like Muslim, they don't eat pork. I know. They it, believe in different religion. Yeah, that's, that's <clears> that like but bad. Since you guys are Catholic and you know who's the real guy, why don't you tell them who's the real one? I, I tell them straight up. I'm like, yo. Who I'll do you tell you who? who? I'm like, hell. yo, I'll beat you up if he's you. going to hell. You ain't gonna praise him doing God, that. Jesus. Yeah, I know. They got the wrong, uh, uh, the wrong God. It's not the same God as our. You know what they say? They say, well, it's the same God. It's not the same God because Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He died and He rose to, uh, and He rose again. In, in the Muslim faith, they said there's only one God, and they don't believe in Jesus as being the Son of God. They believe that He's only prophet. So obviously, the their man. God is the wrong God. Yeah. They believe in idolater. I, be but uh, I believe in Jesus Christ the Father and the, and the Holy Spirit and he's the only one Jesus Christ said in John 3 3 I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but by me you can tell him that yeah they're unserious well they are serious in their religion but uh, but they're unserious at the same time right hmm they're unserious at the same time like he all he says is he's like pray Allah pray Allah yeah I know they pray three times a day or something yeah and then I heard he goes to the gym hey he goes to the gym too. He goes to the gym? Yeah. Sin is religion. <laughs> it's like Ronald McDonald Jim <laughs> praise Allah. Uh, yeah. So. Well, I'm surprised that anyway, th this is a Catholic school. Yeah, they all. A lot of Catholics. They all, yeah, I mean, and they all allow all different types of religion. I don't think that's right. I don't, I don't think it's Because true. you're mixing different religion. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of Catholic who go in as a Catholic will come out as a Muslim and not believe in the right teaching. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm rebuking the administration in this school and how they teach you guys. They don't love you. I, I, I don't think those teachers and the, 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 the principal in there. I it, think he pray, like is Muslim. Yeah. He doesn't eat pork. Yeah, I know. It's, I understand he doesn't eat pork because that's his religion. But you do, I eat pork. I, my religion says oh, it's yeah. okay. You guys Where eat pork? Where do I pork? get a hat like that? Hmm? Where do I get like a hat like that? You can get it on the internet. Go really? online, you get one. Dude, and even that? this uh, this jacket, you could go online. That's snazzy. Yeah. Is that on Facebook? Am I on Facebook? Yeah. No. I'm on YouTube. Oh, you're a YouTube streamer? Yeah, so What's I'll your, be, uh, this will be on YouTube. What's the YouTube? Big part? What's the YouTube? Well, I don't have a channel name yet because I don't have any, a lot of subscribers. 
you have to have a certain amount in order to have my name attached to it. Oh, but the only thing YouTube I could sell it. How are you trapping? Huh? YouTube Zilla trapping. Hey, big friend. YouTube Zilla trapping. How do we find you on YouTube? Well, I just go pre uh, preaching. Just, just I've got to uh, uh, call it preaching at St. Right. Peter's cool. High School. All right, thank okay. you. Okay. So I haven't done it yet, but look at it in the future. That's what it's going to be. And and if you key that in, it'll come up. Have yourself a good day and Merry Christmas, you guys. Believe in Jesus. Yes. Happy Hanukkah. Have yourself a good day. Believe in Jesus. Tell the teacher, teachers to teach you the truth, not the lies. Matthew 7, 21 and 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and then many wonders in your name, then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. If my warning will not change no one's mind. Well, it is very sad and upsetting to have principals and teachers of today leading those students in the wrong direction where their souls and their souls destiny will end up in hell you all will regret it when you will be facing jesus christ on your day of judgment for being lukewarm i'm sure it is not only this high school who's doing it other schools are doing it as well teaching them the same lies the mindset of people of today are lost and heading to a cliff. Revelation 3, 50 and 3, 60. And I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold, cold or hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. You are responsible to teach them the truth. And whoever calls one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, you are in big trouble for lying to them. The Bible says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire that includes all of you. Matthew 18, 6 and 7. But whoever calls one of these little ones who believes in me to sin, it will be better for him if a millstone will hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of offensive, or offensive must come, but woe to that man who holds, comes to him. Teachers has a duty to impart strong moral to their students. There is no reason to think that, that each individual will not be held accountable for his own sin. But it is also clear that those with influence, there, there are greater responsibility. If anyone fails to warn them, they will have blood on their hands. Ezekiel 3.18 When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. That same wicked man will shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at, his, at your hand. Anyone who support, supports and supports and promotes this movement, they, are, they do not realize what they are doing. They are doing more harm than good to the LGBTQ plus students and community as well as to 
has to themselves. There are many professing Christians who know what God of the inspired book, book of the Bible says about homosexuality and even the LGBTQ plus knows that what the Bible says about all most, most homosexuality, they only suppress it. And they get angry if you tell them it is wrong. They also know it. And you too, by your God-given conscience, that is wrong. But now they have adult teachers who knows better encourage them to stay in it and not to try to get them out of it all in the name of tolerance and inclusiveness god designed marriage be, be be between one man and one woman in a sexual intimate relationship it is only allowed in that union any other form of sexual relationship that is out out of bound of God's love of marriage. It is an abomination to him, whether it is masturbation, lust, fornication, sex outside of marriage, adultery, pedophilia, polygamy, bestiality, rape, incest, homosexuality, pornography, transgenders, drag queens, same-sex marriage, effeminity, if we look carefully of what the gay pride flag represents or stands for, you can see that it is a flag that has lots of hate behind it. First, they very much hate, they hate God's, the Bible, and Jesus Christ, who took his color of his rainbow, which God used as the symbol of his com covenant with man to remind him not to flood the earth again. It is their way to, of mocking it right by raising their fists at him and telling him he is not their God. We do not need him. We have one of our own who loves everyone and no matter what kind of lifestyle we live, Love is love, is what they say. Yeah, but what does that mean? Well, it is not love. It is sexual pleasure and self-gratification and lust, plain and simple. What they are actually doing is spitting at Jesus Christ's face and trampling underfoot his precious blood. He shed it at the cross to save them and you from your sins and have eternal life and they in you as well refuse his free gift of salvation what blasphemy one thing different with their flag is that they only have six colors while the rainbow of god has seven colors which means perfection and six represent imperfection even their flag it condemns them for what being perfect and unholy as to say you are wrong here guys but it is said in the bible that all in second coming he will pour out his wrath of fire on the wicked sinners upon this earth on his day which will be far worse than flooding the earth for professing christian who support and promote, pro promote this, you are the one who hates the LGBTQ plus students. There is no love in you toward them. You want to go to heaven, but do not care if they don't. You have been deceived, and if you think you're going to make it, you are just as guilty as, as they are. Telling them the truth is loving them. Telling them a lie is is hating is hating them. You are not you people are not Christians. You're a child of the devil. He who sin is of the devil. The wage of sin is death. You want to stand behind a group that supports other hateful groups, the baby murderers, pro-abortionist movement, 
the, Bla the Black Lives Movement, Antifa, Anarchist Movement, the pro euthanasia, euthanasia movement in anti-family structure, structure anti-police and, and anti-establishment. Establishment. I wonder how many of you support those organizations as well, especially as abortions. Another thing that is an abomination in God's eye, which he hates, I preserve their teacher and their who supports abortion. How shameful. Proverbs 6, 6 to 19. He, these six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. If they could not kill some babies by abortion, and some made it, made it alive through failed abortion attempt, they will get them indoctrinated later in life by teaching them in schools about sex education, that they should be the one who should decide what sex they want to be, and not by God who created them what they were born with. They will give them some life library stories from queers telling them that it is okay to be homosexual, to masturbate, have sex, uh, have sex any time you want, to transvestize or to be whatever you want to be. Are you teaching them that too? If you are, are you out of your minds? What a lie from the pit of hell of Satan. All of you are workers and working for Satan. God is not in your school or even in your chapel at all. Satan, it resides in it. With this mindset, we have no hope for our future, but just destruction from God's wrath upon us and our children. And who shall we blame for it? You and with the rest, rest of the other government official, official sinful ways and people who support the same. We have, we have gone down so low to moral decay that is so deep in sins that uh, there is no way to come back to reality. Each one of you should be ashamed of yourself. You might as well wear a swastika armband just like the Nazi did in every day. You step out that step out of that school or attend to some sport events. Keep flying that swastika flag on your flagpole or have one on your desk or on the walls in the school. And I will call, call all of you as a bunch of Nazis hypocrites. You are just as guilty as they were. And you profess to be a Christian don't expect to inherit the kingdom of God, my friend. All of you will end up with the rest of the group of evildoers in the same place. Repent, or you likewise will perish. It is unbelievable to find people like you who are supposed to have some moral standards and profess to be Christian. Do not care for the LBGTQ plus community. You know who are the ones who hate, but will not admit it, and that is a grave sin. Not doing anything about it where you should have. All of you are workers working for safety. Did you know it is a sin not doing what you are supposed to do, which is a sin of omission? That too will send you to hell, just like the sin of commission. It only takes one sin to send you to hell, my friend. The flag of might look pretty with all those colors, different colors to the eyes of the supporter, but it truly really does not represent beauty, but all evil and ugliness intent. 
that is what it's representing. It welcomes all different types of sexual orientation and sinful lifestyle that they support and promote. Now they have a new and improved kind of flag. They have added a triangle shape like a pointed arrow on the left side with extra colors on it to show that future sexual sins will be welcome in that they hope that the arrow, arrow from the left will move to the right side to finally arrive to their goal and achieve total denominations and make it homosexuality the norm of, of our society and destroy all godly from a marriage and family structures. If I tell the LGBTQ plus alphabet what they are doing, it is wrong to save their soul from hell. I will be treated badly and be condemned from preaching, preaching them hate. Is that what is not coming? What you're doing at St. Peter, doing at St. Peter's School, are doing that to achieve that? Maybe I should call you Christophobic like they call me homophobic. The gay pride flag represent hate and death of soul. If anyone should support and promote this lifestyle and does not tell them that the dangers or does not give them any warning of the outcome after they die are the ones who hate them, not the ones who tell them the truth. You are just as guilty as they are and you too will end in the same destiny as them. And for those who profess to be Christians and support and promote this, here is what the Bible says about you. In Matthew 7, 22 and 23, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and thus many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Take heed to this important message and do not take it lightly, my friend, but as a warning to save your souls and your own soul as well. And no change, if no change comes to all of you, then I will know where you stand between good and evil. It would all show me that you have none to give that would stand on its own two feet. That will support your claim. So you try to hide it where nothing can be hidden in God's eyes for what you're doing. Hebrews 4.13 And there is no creature hidden from his sight to all things are all naked and are open to the eyes of him to whom you must give an account. Matthew 12, 36 and 37. But I say to you that for every idle word words man may speak, they will give an account of it on the day of judgment. For by your words, you will be judged and justified. By your words, you will be condemned. Second Corinthians 5.10 For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that each one of us may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Please read the Bible to your students as well. If people would read the Bible, less crimes and evil things will be done. If you decide to continue working in, in our lukewarm about a then you are the problem, not the solution. Revelation 3, 15 and 16. I know your works, that you're neither cold nor hot. I can wish you, wish you cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will vomit you out of your mouth. Can I have a card? This is a warning of those <laughs> professing Christians. <laughs> He says he will even vomit you the Christian and the Catholic.
and the Protestants, wherever your religion of your belief, you stand. If you stand of this sinful lifestyle, he will also vomit you out of his mouth. Wake up, get out of your stupor foolishness, and come to Christ. Repent, repent, or you will likewise will perish. Amen. Praise the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Judge of Judges, Hi there, sir. the Alpha and the Omega, Hi, can I the beginning and the end. Can I talk to you for a second, sir? Just a minute. Nor is there salvation sir. any other. There is no other name under heaven given among men by sir. which we must be per sir, saved. I need, I need In that, through Jesus Christ okay? only. So what's your card? Can I see your card? Thank you. Thanks. And Jesus says uh, in 14, can 6. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, I just okay. a minute. I okay. just wonder if it's, I just almost. So you're not allowed to be on the property. No one okay. comes to the Father but my. Be on the Take heed. Property under trespass to property act. It's probably, you know, All right, I'll stay here. Okay, you gotta get off property. The principal would prefer you didn't uh, do this I'm here. The, the, the principal would prefer you didn't do this here because his students, you know, they they they're obviously, uh, you know, don't. Sorry if I had I uh, I didn't talk to you immediately i appreciate that you were very patient. i didn't okay. mean to be offensive okay. but i just want to finish because i only have a few more to say and i want to say everything that i want okay. to say but the, 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 the school doesn't want you in there protesting here though you know i'm not I know protesting ever, i'm preaching yeah preaching i it's, it's you're delivering messages that that aren't conducive to the messages the school it wants to produce with uh you know welcoming all students of you know yeah, gender know. and all that and sexual preference right so so for that reason, they don't want you to be in the area if possible. Okay, you you're entitled to your well, beliefs and free be speech. Here. Well, I'm, I'm entitled to be here. Then. On public property. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Again. You, well, that's not, that's why I, that's where they can't tell me I cannot be here. I know, but it's always a, there's always this like you know spectrum of what you can do and not do, right? So if you're, if you're not hurting anybody, my freedom of religion, freedom my freedom of speech, freedom expression. That's what well, I have, and I have the but, the right to do that. Yeah. I'm trying to save all these these kids soul because they're not teaching them the, the right thing as yeah. a matter of fact so, you know about it sir everyone's, uh, everyone's you know beliefs are, are different in that yes regard, but their right? beliefs so, that is not true according yeah. to god so i have okay. to warn them okay. i'm here as a christian myself protecting their soul i love them enough to tell them the truth which yeah. in that supposedly it's a catholic school they're not teaching exactly what their own religion is yeah. telling them to, to, to preach yeah. they're lying to them well, they're everyone, actually everyone lying to those poor students a little differently right so, yes but that's the wrong interpretation yeah, obviously yeah, you so. know are you a christian you're I, I, your I, name wrote I'm not going to get into my personal No, but I mean, you life, must so. believe in something. Oh, you must believe do, in God. Yeah, and you know do. what God so. thinks about homosexuality, yeah, I right? Know. I, I'm not, again, I'm not going to get into my well, personal Well, you know, it, sir, you, even though okay. you don't want to discuss about okay, it, you so, know. And if but, you know about it, you should warn them. That's our okay, responsibility. So, no. As a Christian, as a police officer, you suppose you should warn no, also. No, like I so said, we have the, well, there's lots of different religions and a lot of different yes, views, but, but we have to respect one, everybody else's. There's only one religion. Okay, there's but only one religion. Then they should respect my religion. So, I should be allowed to be here. The teacher in there should not even have to call the police officer. Wasting your time to come here. Well, you certainly can't be on the school property, okay? I, I well, think that's the message I'm delivering. Well, I didn't here, realize that okay. was the school property. Okay. But I'm so, okay right and, here. And they, no they problem. They would like you to leave the area if possible, you know? Well, because I won't. It is disturbing I won't. the students. I won't listen okay. to them. So, I'll yeah. listen to my God. My yeah. God has told me okay. to come here. What's your religion, sir? My religion? What form of Christianity? Big part? Why, what kind of Christianity do you follow? I don't want to belong to any special denomination. Yeah, you're not a Baptist or Pentecostal. No, I'm just a Bible like believer, Bible obeying, born again Christian. That's all I am. Yeah. Okay. And it's my duty that 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 God told me is, and also my responsibility as a Christian, yeah. to warn them what they need to know because all the everybody's going to die, so, yeah. uh, Mr. Rose. What's your name, sir? Jean Pierre Armand Armand uh, Armand Jean Pierre. Ar Armand. Armand. Arma Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre. Yeah. Okay. How do you spell Arma? Huh? Arma. How do you spell that? Arma. Arma. A R M A N D. Okay. Arma. Okay. Yeah. Arma. So that's your last name. I won't give you my last okay. name. That's a, sure. that's the thing. I don't okay. think I need to yeah. because I'm not arrested. No, no. I'm doing exactly what I'm. I'll follow the law, like you okay. say. I was on the wrong property. Then I'll move. I'll obey, obey the law. But okay. one law I will not obey is then telling me what I should do. I'll take the laws of my, of my okay. God from. So you know, there's obviously 
the, your for freedom of expression, all that. Obviously, you can't cause a disturbance. You can't. No, no, you can't no. I won't. I won't swear. do that. No, I don't do fights, that. I like can't that, do that, right? officer. So, I can't okay. swear because I'm okay. a Christian. Okay. Because yeah. I, I will be blaming myself. I will be a, a sinner as well. I can't be a sinner. Yeah. I have to be true to my belief, okay. and I cannot tell a lie. Okay. Unfortunately, that's the teaching of that school. They're teaching these poor students. My heart breaks so much to see all these students going in there as Christians, believe in God, and they come out as atheists. Yeah. I, I confronted the principal as well, if you want yeah. to know about it. I went and talked to her. Yeah. I even asked her if I could have an appointment because I happened to be outside and been confronted by some homosexual kids who came and confronted me and gave me the tickets and they well, told they're, me they're allowed to express their opinion I know they're allowed right? but so, they were swearing yeah they were swearing to me yeah. and they were condemning yeah, and really cursing on God and that really hurts me yeah. they said I don't like God and I don't like the Bible I said well you're in the school that aren't they not teaching you the Bible loves you mm -hmm. and I said to myself is that what they're teaching in school don't yeah. they realize these kids are coming out as as evil and people who hate God you guys supposed to teach them to, to, teach them to love God, not to hate them. What is wrong with you guys? Well, so I confronted to, to, them. I guess they try to teach to be open to all different beliefs. But that's and not right. And you like don't that. open them to show the sin. This school yeah. is supposed to teach them about God, and yet they're teaching about Satan stuff. Yeah. That's contradicting. That yeah. is completely Again, I'm not going to get into too much philosophy. But that is my opinion. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. So you will understand where I'm coming from and yeah. where I'm going with this. Yeah. Yeah. So are these people with, with you too? Or no, they're different? No, you, no these are the people that are... No, no, they're not with me. Yeah. They're against me, as a matter of fact. As you can see, okay. they got the gay pride flag. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, officer, it yeah. uh, breaks my heart. I'm not here so to cause don't any problem. Any, any, any with them, okay. No, no, you won't get any interaction. Okay. I will never get any interaction. I'm not the one who's going to cause fighting. I'm not allowed to even to retaliate. That's my yeah. God told me. Do not retaliate. Offer your other cheek if they hit you on one side. But yet they're the ones who will uh, retaliate and beat me up and call me name and curse my name. I will never do that. I respect them. I love these people. They're the one who hates me. Yeah. And they call me, I'm the one who's hating, who's, who's preaching hate. I'm not preaching hate. You're the one who's preaching hate. You're not telling them the truth. You don't love those homosexuals. I love the homosexual. Teach them the, the truth. They're all going to hell. Okay, sir, I'm going to go talk to them now and see, tell them that, you know, they're, they're not causing any disturbance either, okay? I treat everybody equal. Just make sure everyone's just following yeah. the laws well, and stuff, okay? I appreciate what you, you oh. did coming here. Okay. But I'm sorry that you had to walk away doing your normal job. Come here to to, to, to come to confront a peaceful man. Okay. I'm not here as a, as a criminal. I'm here as a loving, loving person who would like to approach people as loving as I can. Yeah, okay. I, I, I really love these two. My kids used to go to the school at one time. Okay. This is one way to... How old are your kids now? Oh, they're all uh, they're in their 30s right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, have yourself a good day, okay, officer. Take, Take you very okay. much, and Merry Christmas. Thanks, believe, in, believe in Jesus Christ. Come to Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. You want me to give you guys something? You want something? Just a gospel track. You want something to read? No, yeah. No, no, Ashley. No, thank you. Trivia. No. No, no. You have cards? You are going to have You are good. Yes. Trivia questions. Oh, thank you. Here, here you go. I'll give you one. Thank you. Imagine having some teacher outside to come and try to tell you not to confront me, not to speak to me. Imagine teacher wa want you to be walking away from the truth. This is the kind of people are in there teaching you all these things. They don't want you to know the truth. How are you? They're the ones who are haters. How are you? Not by you. Do you good. believe in Jesus? I had really good sex with my girlfriend last weekend. Well, I'm sorry you will not make it to heaven. That's all right. Come to Christ. Get out of your slumber get out of your sinful lifestyle i love you enough to tell you the truth you're not gonna live happily after you die we're all gonna die one day
We're all going to die one day. Make sure where your soul is going to end up at the end. I beg your pardon? You want another one? Your friend wants a card? Yes. Believe in Jesus. Jesus is the only way to make it. There's no other religion. Imagine having teachers in there teaching the lies of Satan to make you believe that homosexuality is the right thing to do. You teacher hates them. You hate your students. You don't love your students. You hate them. You hate them. You don't love them. I'm the one who loves them. You are a teachers of Satan's. That's what you are. You don't tell them the truth. God says no one will inherit the kingdom of God, even homosexuals, sodomites, drunkards, thieves, liars, all sinners. You guys are wrong, and you guys are calling yourself Catholics. You guys are calling yourself Catholics. You're not Catholics. You're a liars, bunch of hypocrite liars. Satan worshipers. Satan, you can laugh all you want, you with a big smile, but you will not laugh in front of Jesus Christ on your day of judgment. That face, that smile will be wiped out very quickly on your day of judgment. I have pity for you. I have pity for you. I want you to go to heaven. I don't want you to go to hell. But you don't care if they go to hell. And you think you're going to make it yourself? You should not be here teaching them at all. You Catholics hypocrites. You have an hypocrisy in your heart. You're not true to yourself. You're lying to them and to yourself. Yeah, all that color you have is the wrong color. It's not the right color of Jesus Christ. Rainbow, you only have six color, which is means, which means it is not perfect. Seven is perfection, not six. Go ahead and laugh about it. Bunch of hypocrites. <laughs> Guys, don't believe the teachers. There's a lot of good students in here who believe in Jesus Christ, who are, cannot divorce their opinion against this pseudonymy, being part of this school. Why don't the homosexuals have their own school where they can all be together instead of being part of the Christians? Why? Yeah, just to change their mind as well. They go in there as Christians, but they come out them just the same. Bunch of hypocrites, liars, thieves. Don't wish Christmas. Don't send your prayers because hey, God will not hear your prayer. You're not Christians. Don't go to church on Sunday. It will do you nothing. Taking Eucharist will do you nothing. Nothing at all. You're all going to hell. I'm warning you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Bunch of hypocrites, lying teachers, principals, administration. You're all going to hell. You're not Christians. You're workers of Satan. He who sins is of the devil. You guys are the devil. I hope this sinks in your head. You might die tonight. You don't know when you're gonna die. You could die tonight, and you know what you're gonna end up with? Hell and damnation for eternity. For your false teaching. Laughing about it, go ahead. Laugh about it, hypocrites. Lying hypocrites. Why don't you put a swastika on with your flag in it? Put a swastika symbol on your gay pride flag. That's what it is. It's a flag full of hates. You hate Jesus Christ. You hate God. That's what you do. You hate God. That is what it represents. 
You don't love God. You don't even believe what God says. God hates workers of iniquity. He doesn't like homosexuals. Come to Christ. You guys are on the wrong team. Poor soul. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm good enough to tell you the truth. Bunch of hypocrites. And you guys got to wish, celebrate Christmas. Ha! Yeah, you know what God will do to your Christmas tree? I hope you get coal for your gifts on Christmas tree. You don't deserve anything. Lying tongue thieves, sodomites, evil doers, Satan's worshipers. Change that name, St. Peter. Don't call this St. Peter Catholic High School. Call it Satan High School. Change that name. What an offense to St. Peter. If St. Peter was here, he will scream his head right off. He will not be happy. You're offending him. St. Peter and Jesus died on a cross for you. Is that the way you treat them? Jesus died upright on the cross. Peter died upside down. Well, you are going to be in hell for eternity. Why don't you guys go back in school? Go back in school. That's where you belong. You have to come here and tell the kids, don't listen to this crazy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather be a crazy guy than a person like you. I know where I'm going. I'm going to heaven. You guys won't be there. You're all going to hell. Put that gay pride flag and shove it down your throat. Shut down your throat and believe. And don't push it on me. Don't push it on me. You're evil doers of Satan worshippers. Shove it down your throat. Don't shove your belief on my throat. Get back to school. Turn around like a little doggy between his tails. Get back to school. Just like kids, go back to school. You guys are a bunch of little wimps. Too, too afraid to tell them the truth. You hate them. You hate homosexuals. You don't love them. You want them to go to hell. But don't expect you guys to make it to heaven. You will end up in the same place where you are sending them. You're all deceived. Lying thieves. I'm here, I don't want you guys to go to hell. I bet you you want me to go to hell. That is loving, right? Where is your tolerance, eh? Where is your loving tolerance? Why don't you love me? You're not tolerant with me. Little teacher has to come out and tell the kids, oh, don't talk to him. Boy, can they not think of their own? They can't make their mind of their own. You have to come and tell them to, to not believe this. Liars! Liars! Bunch of hypocrites. Don't call this school Catholic school. Call it Satan Worshipper High School. Call it the Great Deceiver High School. Call it Belzebub High School. Call it like that. That's what it's called, not St. Peter. One day you'll have a road awakening. It won't be funny. You were warned. Hard-headed. You guys are hard-headed. 
You know, read the Bible and see what God says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. Read it! Or Romans 1, Hebrew 1 or Romans 1. Read it! What a school. Call themselves Catholics. Teach them lies. Teaching about Satan's words instead of God's words. Teachers are hypocrites. They're Satan's. Teachers are a bunch of Satan and satanics. They're all a bunch of satanic teachers. Get back to school. Get out of my sight. That's what Jesus is going to tell you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. You workers of evil, the iniquities. Get back to school. You can laugh at us what you want, but you won't laugh on Judgment Day. You won't laugh on Judgment Day. Jesus Christ is going to blow you like a feather in a windstorm. It won't take you long. You will not be able to open your mouth and try to ask mercy on that day. It will not be. There won't be any mercy on you guys on Judgment Day. Satanic teachers. Bunch of satanic teachers. Yes, you deserve hell, all right. You're gonna end up there. Make sure you're changed by that time. You've been warned. When you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin, Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Oh, 
Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. First, remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. <laughs>